Then, cheeky 4RS out of nowhere, what? Out of fucking nowhere, let's go! Damn. Hey guys, so today we're going to start the video a little different than normal. Right now we're actually in my garage. You can see my GT4 right there and you can see these two pretty big boxes. Now, these boxes have been very, very excited to get. I've been waiting for them for maybe two or so months. So I ordered these, yeah, I think probably around February. And I'm going to open it and show you what they are. Obviously, this kind of gives it up. But the design is awesome. It's going to work so well with the car. It's not the easiest to film and open the box, but uh, we're going to try. Okay, so I skipped a bit past cutting everything up, but right now is the moment of truth. Let's see. Oh, oh my god, so much wrapping. Gotta untie this, I'll be right back. Now it might be a little bit easier. Let's move everything out of the way. Well, this is actually a really nice cover, it feels super soft. Oof. And you might have seen it already, but let's move the bag. And here they are. Holy shit. <laughs> this looks better than I thought. Okay, now we gotta place it down without breaking it. Right here. Now we can look at the design. All white to match the car. This is so sick. Okay, looking at it now from like the bottom angle, like even with it, this thing looks so good. Like the white is like pretty much perfect with the same white as the car. It just looks a little different because the lighting and the shadows. But I've seen one of these before that had white wheels. So maybe you remember about two years ago, we took this car to California and we went to a Cars and Coffee there on the first morning. I think I filmed it, but there was a white 718 Spider. But it had these same factory wheels, but in white. Gloss white matches the car. And it was one of the best looking things I've seen on a 718 platform at all at that point. Then when I decided to order wheels, I went to JC Forge Wheels. They're based here in Canada, and they're starting to really expand now. And I love some of their design. I like this one. It's a lot kind of simpler. But sometimes simple is kind of all you need. Just straight spokes, but in white. This thing is going to look so good on the car. I can't wait. And the nice thing is, right now I'm running on Michelin PS 4S's, and they're honestly almost done. I did, you know, cross America in it. I did probably 37,000 kilometers in them. But I still have my Dunlops right here that only have a few thousand kilometers on them. So these are going to be going on this. And in a few days, it's going to be on the car. So it's next day, it's raining. And ideally, the best way and the safest way to transport the wheels to Mina at Le Mans detailing would be in the boxes. But we have a problem. Now, what's our problem? Our problem is that with the boxes, there's no way I can fit four. So what I did, put one here, one here, a little carpet in the middle. And then we open the back seats. We have the two wheels right here strapped in with the seat belt so they don't fly anywhere. And now we gotta drive them downtown to Le Mans Detailing to get them ceramic coated. Okay, so we're at the back room in Le Mans Detailing. We have Mina right here. He's gonna ceramic coat these wheels because white wheels with the brake dust is gonna get brutal. So he's gonna make them a lot more livable even though it's still gonna be hard to clean. So we just got to ECC and ooh, we got Benny in the C63 and we got my tires in the trunk. So these are the tires that came with the car originally. I put the Michelin PS4 that are on it after, but I still have these in my garage. So I'm going to put the white wheels on these. So tonight we're going to go pick up the white wheels from Mina and tomorrow I think Benny's going to mount them on these tires. Okay, so we're at Mina's. Obviously, you can see the Le Mans detailing van picking up the wheels, but we bumped into Nick right here. Let's hear him start up. Not bad. Okay, so here we have actually Nick's calling in the same A12 outside. This is his calling in. And in front of it are my wheels. Ceramic coated by Mina here at Le Mans Detailing. This place is crazy to have so many sick cars. Always Z06, there's a 718 Spider there, SLS. But today we're picking up my wheels. Honestly, you can really tell the difference. It's a lot more kind of shiny now. And tomorrow we're gonna get these mounted on the car. So the wheels are loaded in the car. We put these little mats here to protect them. I had just enough mats to go around. And now we're gonna go drop them off. 
So it's finally the day. We have the white wheels right here. The gold wheels are very, very dirty coming off the car and Benny's actually doing labor for once. First wheel is on, let's go. Looks so good. Okay, so while we're waiting, let's look at what they have here in the showroom. They have this really, really cool looking AMG Coupe. Don't know too much about these. This thing looks badass. And then I believe this TTRS has close to a thousand wheel horsepower, like full drag car. This thing is nuts. I think it runs like nine second quarter miles. Then BMW Isetta. And then an RS3 that I think is also pushing some big power. So here it is, finally. I've been waiting for like three, four months for the wheels. They're finally on the car. The Forge Elite wheels. So pretty much the way these work, and I was so excited for that, is they don't just have kind of wheels in stock. You got to order it, and then the wheels come to you with your colors that you chose, the design that you chose. So I kind of wanted this more simple looking design. I don't know if it was kind of inspired by like the NSXs and the Type R's and all those cars, but kind of, I want to keep it simple. But I always wanted white wheels on the car since I saw some 718 Spider with white wheels. So I ordered them, I think, back in January or February. And they just came, we just put them on, ceramic coated them, everything. The car looks so good, it looks exactly like I wanted it to look. And honestly, these wheels are so light. When the box first came, I couldn't believe how light these wheels are. This thing looks so good. So it is super nice out, we did a little kind of meet but just like our own guys we have ethan in the gle jamie in the m2 my car with the white wheels honestly i love this thing jason's driving his gt4 for the first time in months benny's m240 adam's r6 then kevin kwong from vancouver he just came here with this m5 keenan's blue m4 you saw this in the m4 versus m4 csl video then the e92 m3 george's but apparently this thing is super loud so kevin's gonna start it we're gonna hear what it sounds like so far so yeah we have a decent sized convoy right now we're going to the first horse true north after dark meet of the year jason's bringing the gt3 rs the gt2 rs and the gt4 i'm bringing my gt4 now with the white wheels pretty excited for this I think like a ton of people are coming out, so it should be a crazy turnout. The weather is perfect. This is pretty cool. I don't think we've done this in a while, but we have a fuck ton of cars out. Just usually we're like two cars, maybe three. This is pretty cool. We haven't had like four or five cars in a while. sicker because me and Jason have been friends for probably like 10 years now and you know we're only 24 25 years old so we, we were kids when we became friends we used to like run around chasing cars in Yorkville trying to car spot like taking pictures like m3 c60 anything we saw that was remotely special we would go take pictures of and now we're driving in a convoy of cars that are ours and it's like the, the coolest feeling it's the coolest thing ever so yeah we just parked up the white wheels are pretty good but they're already dirty after 20 kilometers sadly uh, the GT4 is clean RS, the Club Sport, and the 2 RS. Okay, so let's look at what's here. We have a GT4 here, cool gold wheels, unfortunately, comfort seats, can't do that. 
This is pretty cool. 996 Turbo. And I'm pretty sure I've been seeing this dri car drive around since I was like literally 13 years old. Oh, and the Sport Classic right here in green. And the other green, the Sport Classic. I think there's only two green ones in the city and not bad. So I don't think I've seen this GT3 RS before, um, unless the plate's new. Then purple GT3 next to it, unfortunately comfort seats, but very cool with the white, uh, I mean the yellow around the wheel, carbon ceramics. So black GT3 comfort seats though, Ooh, 0.23 RS and Lucas's Touring. I actually really like both of these specs a lot. So this one's a white, kind of no decals, but you get the red wheels. I saw this one randomly the other day on the street, but solid spec, I really, really like this. And then I guess someone did a satin PPF on the gray, and honestly, it looks perfect. It's like almost like opposite specs, but they're both actually really, really sick. So as the plate says, sick GT3, but gotta add RS, blue spider, I like the cup, I think it's called the cup aero kit for the uh, GTSs. So we have another blue GT4, gray spider. So another orange 0.1 GT3 RS, and you can tell it's a US spec because the seats are these seats, they're not the Carrera GT seats. The Euro specs had the Carrera GT ones. Right. Sport Classic moved right here. The matte white spider, this thing looks so good. And you painted the bottom of the lip right here in white kind of match the whole body looks amazing mad red gt3 red 0.2 gt3 rs and another 992 gt3 another gt4 with the black door handle as well just like mine and then the blue on the 4s looks nice but i feel like it looks a little too low-key all the carbon is kind of blend in a little bit so it doesn't look as aggressive as any like contrast colors to the to the carbon and then keenan's m4 that we did in the video for the against the csl Matte black GT3 Touring. I don't think I've seen this one before. Then we have a Carrera RS Tribute car. So it's not a real Carrera RS. They kind of took, I think, a Carrera S, made it look like a Carrera RS. So, so it's not like the one that we drove last year. This blue, though, looks so good on the GT4 RS. We drove next to this on the DVP. That was the one that was next to us in traffic. Randomly showed up. This thing looks pretty cool. Probably like the 981s or 987s. So here we have ECC's 993, has these sick bucket seats, almost look like the GT2 for the 996 bucket seats, I think they're a little bit bigger. Another 993, this one's a Targa. I, like you never see the Targas for 993, so the cool thing is they have a glass roof. That's kind of what makes it the Targa, obviously. They don't have a Targa roof for these years. And another 0.23 RS. Pretty sick. This is getting packed over here. GT4 S in yellow looks sick. Another 0.13 RS, one black and orange here, one orange and black there. I like the like the opposite specs of them. We're starting to leave. That's nice, Matt White. Oh yeah, the point two. And the Jerry Goo, let's go. So leaving the meet right now, I didn't film too much. I was talking to people the entire time, so I didn't get to film too much and we're leaving pretty late. So not many cars left. 